Crease primer. Yes, I use this when I'm not really doing much of anything. <laughs> I use this. It does crease after probably about six hours, so it's not the best primer, but it works. Now I'm going to use a white foundation as a base for my eyeshadow. This is sold in my store now. This is an awesome product. You guys, I'm serious. I'll do a more in depth, um, not really a review, but I'll talk about it more in another video. But this is good for mixing foundations if you're a makeup artist, and it's also good for an eyeshadow primer. So what I do is I just take a little bit like this, a little dot, and that's even too much to be honest with you. You can see it. All right, get it on my finger and just spread it on. It dries fairly quickly, okay? And that's like probably way too much, y'all. Way too much. But it dries fairly quickly, as you can see. Just blend it out. and the camera turned red again. That's cool. Alright. Alright, and there you go. Perfect. And it's dry. It is dry. Alright, so as you know, I'm going to be using my Baronio palette. The first color I'm going to use is called Chaos, which is this greenish, taupey color. Uh, taupey green, whatever, khaki green. Put that on the most of the lid. Okay. And like I said, Candy was wearing this look, or look very similar to this, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion show last night. So I thought it was cute. She looks so cute. Okay so cute and just get it like almost on the entire lid and just leave just a little tiny bit of your eye open for the darker color okay so a little bit above the crease at least for my eye shape I need to put it a little bit above the crease alright there we go and now I'm going to take my 843 brush this brush is available at my store it's just like the MAC 226 brush okay gonna get this black color the shimmery black on the end get that on the brush and then just start pulling it in and I like to just start with a slant like this and just pull it down Oops. pull it down like that see that start with it like that okay and start blending a little bit. Get it on that lash line a bit. Okay. I'm not concerned with making a V because when I start blending, it'll automatically do what I need it to do. So I'm just placing my color in a diagonal type um, direction. All right. I want to take a fluffier brush like this, and the, it's kind of a square-shaped fluffy brush. Um, if you have a brush like that, use that. If you if you you can use a different brush. Get a little bit of the black on there, and I'm just going to start blending. This brush is very fluffy, and it's an excellent little blending brush for the outer corner. To me, I love it. Love this brush, and yes, my distributors sell it. But they don't really have a lot of these, so I don't even bother putting it on my website, okay? Alright, so I'm just pretty much blending that black, that sparkly black, into that greenish color, the chaos. I'm going to grab a little more chaos because I don't want it that intense. And just go over it and look to help blend it, okay? to help learn. Alright, so we're just blending and you see we have it blended. And I don't know if you guys can really see in this angle. This is a 
I'm trying to do a talking tutorial and I'm trying to do it fast because normally you guys know I do the close up. Okay. But I decided to do it this way today. If you don't like it, let me know. And I'll go back to the eye close up so you guys can really see. So that's it. We have it pretty much blended on that outer corner right in here. Now I'm going to take a fluffier brush. That is not where it's supposed to be. There we go. Fluffy brush. It's a Studio Tools brush. Costs two dollars at Target. You guys, huh. trying to tell you. Make sure it's clean because really we're just softening this, softening the top of this part out. Okay. Soften that edge up. All right. You see, we softened it. I'm gonna go ahead and soften it up around here as well. I'm not too concerned with what's going on in this brow area. I'm just not because I don't want it that intense. All right, so I have that blended. I'm going to take a brown, which is very close to my skin color, take the same fluffy brush and just kind of go right above that to blend it out and make it nice and soft. Okay, all the way around. Here. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to take my foundation brush and just kind of clean up that edge a little bit. Just like that. Okay. And now I'm going to add a highlight. Alright, for my highlight I'm just going to use a concealer. This is a L'Oreal Hip brush that comes with their paints. And it works very well for concealer. So I'm just going to grab a concealer in my concealer palette. And go right up here at the top. You guys know how it's done already. Shape the brow, pull it down to blend it in with what you with your eyeshadows. Okay. All right. Take your blending brush and blend it. All right. There you go. That's pretty much it. Now, so I'm going to take Chaos again, this right here, this color. This is the Baronio palette. Go underneath my eye with it. Oh. Alright, just like that. And that's it. Let me see now. Um, wait a minute. I see something I need to blend right here. It's bothering me. <laughs> bothering me. There we go. Blend that out a bit. So I'm going to line my eyes with Milani Eye Tech Liquid Liner. I love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. And and I'll talk to you guys about it in another video. So I'm going to line my eyes, put on my eyelashes, and line the bottom, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's pretty much done. Eyes are done. I have my eyeliner and my eyelashes on. And there you go. I like this look. It's very, very, very pretty. I like it. On my lips, I'm wearing... Um, I hate when that happens. Okay, so on my lips, I'm wearing a lip gloss called Ripe, and it's just kind of like a, a muted brick, mauve red type color, if I can describe it that way. And I used a NYX Auburn Lip Liner, okay? It's a little much for the eye, but it's not too intense, I don't think. And then, plus, why not? Why can't I do it, right? So I'm about to blush my cheeks with a blush that I carry at my store called Emphasize. And you guys, I have... Orange blush at the site now. Yes, I do. And if I could open it, I have an orange blush. It's called Scandalize. Check it out. I'm going to talk about it later, but I carry orange now. <laughs> so excited about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and blush my cheeks. Not too much because, you know, we got the lips and the eyes happening. So we just kind of want to do a little natural coloring on the cheek. At least as natural as possible. Okay, so 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. The look is complete. All right, this is eye candy, and I call it that because it just reminds me of Candy's look last night. Candy from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Maybe her corner, her outer corners were a little bit more intense than mine, but I'm not going there, okay? But it's very similar. So that's it. I hope you I hope you like the look, you guys. Stay tuned for a couple pictures, and I will see you very soon. <laughs> Guess what I got new for you Guess what I got new for you